Good winter morning everyone! My name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants with a cup of coffee in hand as always. <laughs> so, Happy New Year by the way guys. So, it is January and this morning, um, it is an, actually a beautiful morning after a period of uh, several days of it being gloomy and cold. Finally, the sun is out and it's a little warmer today. So today we're going to reach, um, I think, 59 or 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the morning. Although the nighttime temperatures are still cold, but at least for the next few days, the forecast is we're going to be warm in the morning, which is a uh, very nice to have a break from the cold winter december that we had so anyway this morning i thought i'd take you with me while i inspect how my plants are doing and since it is winter they are all shriveled up well most of them are shriveled up see that and um their colors it's not as uh green and as vibrant as it is if it was spring or summer and look at this golden ball cactus it is yellow it is wrinkled <laughs> and um but i am uh, confident this that these guys will you know bounce back it is normal because um most of them are dormant right now and um see some of them are turned purple that's a sign of cold stress but in this greenhouse i have a heater so i don't let the temperature go below freezing so i try to keep it at 40 or at least above freezing 35 degrees and above and then in the morning it actually warms up in here because this greenhouse gets morning sun so it heats up right now when i checked the temperature before i went in it was at 80 degrees so it heats up for about an hour or two when the morning sun or as the morning sun hits this greenhouse so this section right here is where i have all my grafts fortunately knock on wood they are all still looking okay despite some of them looking smaller than usual but i am thinking that might just be because of the temperature but this is the first year that these new grafts of mine will experience winter so knock on wood that they will be fine but what i actually wanted to do this morning is i think i will give some of them a little sip of water yes watering in winter time <laughs> that's what i do um i made a video explaining why i do that and i will link that video here if you haven't seen it but basically i water some that those some of those that look severely dehydrated like this astrophytum i will give that a little bit of water and um agave that one too i find agave is still growing despite it being winter time so i will water that and selectively i will just you know look at how they um appear if they appear still plump then i'll just leave them be but especially for these tephro cactus right here these ones i always wanted water these during winter time because if i don't they have the tendency to drop their segments whenever they are too dehydrated like it happened to me every year so far none yet this year hopefully they won't do it but i would just come here and then i would find these segments dropped here on the pot or on the shelves so they have the tendency to drop their segments if they become severely dehydrated so i try to give that a little sip of water the last time that i watered these cacti are in december i think it was before christmas um i think second week of december was when i last watered all of these but not very deep watering it was just light watering so now that it is january this is the next watering that i will be doing and i will be showing you guys how much water i give if it is winter time 
So I'm going to start off with these cacti over here. As you can see, they are all so shriveled up. So I'm going to give them a little sip of water. That's enough. So I'm not really soaking the pot. I just want to introduce some moisture to the soil. And then this one too, this is a gymnocalithium, but it is, look, it is getting deflated. <laughs> so one reason that I give some of my cacti a little sip of water during winter is that because I experienced this a lot of times that some of them would lose their roots. Like this one is so prone to uh, losing its roots it won't die it will survive but then during spring and summertime it will devote all of its energy to uh, producing roots that it doesn't flower <laughs> so from then on i try to give my cacti a little sip of water even during winter this one is um a winter grower so in spring it will form a yellow flower that's why i still keep this hydrated even during the winter that's an albuca spiralis and then what else i think i will give this a little sip of water i just don't want them to lose their roots you know when they're too shriveled up because they will not flower good come spring and then this one too, this one is a Lobivia. So I'll give this a little sip of water. Not too much. Guys, if you live in an area where there's high humidity and it's very cold, you might want to totally withhold water. But here in my location, I can still afford to give my cacti a little bit of water because Wait, I need to pump my watering can. Yeah, so as I was saying, I still need to give them a little bit of water because our humidity here is low. Today, it's just 30%. That's about it during winter time. It doesn't really go very high. Um, sometimes it would if it's like drizzling, but it doesn't really rain hard in here. I heard that in Southern California, they got rain a lot of rain in the past few days but here in las vegas we all we had was a little bit of drizzle and not too much rain so my outdoor cacti did get that drizzle and they perked up really good but these ones here in my greenhouse they're sheltered so they don't get any water at all so i will be introducing a little bit of water this also one winter time lost its roots so i am go oh look at that it's forming babies what two babies <laughs> i just um repotted this this fall and i guess it liked it because it produced two offsets okay so just like that especially for seedlings these seedlings i do water them okay and um yeah so that's how i water my cactus i will be you know checking which ones would need water for some of them that are really plump i leave them alone like oh this this is a copiapoa see how plump that is i will leave that alone i will not give it any water so basically i just eyeball them okay so going here in the astrophytum section this one i will give it a little water as well i find that these astrophytum they like to be watered <laughs> at least in my location they like to be watered so i'll give them water this is a seedling a teenager seedling <laughs> so i will give this water and what else oh i said uh, this agave needs some water these agaves they still grow despite it being winter this uh, echinopsis mirabilis is already leaning okay so i give it a drink and a while ago i was just telling you how these would drop its segments when it comes to really dehydrated Look what happened one of the segments just dropped so i did not bump it i was just merely trying to lift it to move it and that segment dropped 
The mellow cactus, I find them to be more tropical in nature. So I'll give them a little bit of water. They don't really like being too dry for a long period of time. And oh, of course, the uh, tropical type of cactus. I have them tucked back there. So I give those a little bit of water. My um, Thanksgiving cactus back there, it suffered a lot during summer. So it's still recovering. I tucked it there at the back. It did not flower this winter. Usually it should be flowering by this time, but it's recovering. So what it's doing is it's uh, developing new pads on top okay, or new segments. Oh, and uh, this one too. I find that any cactus that grows hanging likes a little bit more water. <laughs> so I'll give this a little water too. And here on top, my monkey's tail. Okay, drink, drink, drink. Refreshing water. <laughs> Would have been good if I placed this outside when it was drizzling, but I forgot. Okay. And then for the rest that won't get any water, what I usually do is I just introduce moisture on them. So I spray water like that. I just get them wet. So remember these cats, I also have the ability to absorb moisture from the air. So this would help at least for those that did not get any water. Oh, I have to water that one. My poor Euphorbia Pusoniae. It's really struggling in the winter. But hopefully it will bounce back up come spring. Okay. So this will... Int Oops. <laughs> I sprayed water on my coffee. Ah, okay. And here too. So there. That's it. So that's what I do in terms of watering during winter here in my greenhouse. Now let us check my cacti outside. And then here outside in my backyard, I have two racks here and I have my cacti overwintering outside underneath that burlap. But look at that sunshine. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? But don't be deceived guys. We got plenty of sunshine but it is still cold. It is 48 degrees right now. But I am taking advantage of this sun and I think I should let my cacti enjoy this sunshine this morning. So these are my hardy cacti. <laughs> these are echinopsis actually. They're mature so they can withstand um, colder temperatures at night. So they're overwintering here outside in my backyard. And uh, the burlap is doing a good job it's always about five degrees warmer with that burlap on them and look they are also severely dehydrated but i'm not too worried about these guys because they're mature they can withstand um, these slight uh, shriveling and colder temperature and then these are the ones that i have down here so i keep an eye on them I make sure you know they don't shrivel too much or turn or change their color too much so not a lot is in here but yeah I do have some and I still even have an aloe in here that surprisingly hasn't turned its tips orange so which means it is not getting too cold for it yet my blue elf aloe i used to overwinter this in the garage but it has gone too big for the garage so i just tucked it here in a corner near the wall and surprisingly it is doing very well and look what i discovered this morning buds wow like every aloe has a bud or buds on the tips yes whoa that's wonderful now i am um beginning to think maybe i should leave my aloes outside and instead of moving them in the garage i mean they are thriving in the garage they're flowering at the moment i think the 
grow lights have something to do with that but they don't have that stress color in them so they're still green i want the stress color during winter so i'm thinking of actually moving them here outside and then here in my backyard look at that opuntia that's an opuntia nail pastel it is so dehydrated and it turned purple because of the cold and the freeze but i'm not worried about it that is a very cold hardy cacti and then my garden this used to look so shriveled up but with the slight drizzle that we had most of them plump back up so they're looking very very nice i like it you might be wondering what are these spots doing in here actually when we get freezing nights freezing temperature this is what i use to cover the tips of these mexican fence posts <laughs> just like that okay to, just to protect the tips from freezing but um yeah even this opuntia it used to be like um drooping but with the rain it uh stood back up very nice and then this other garden of mine okay looks okay this one is uh, purple but that is a very cold hardy cactus so i'm not too worried about it there is an opuntia here this is the opuntia centarita it it rotted actually i'm not sure what happened to it um it all started when um we had some work done here in the backyard and i think one of the workers um dropped something on it the top one broke i thought the bottom pad will survive but it did not anyway <laughs> i'm i saved the top pad so hopefully it will root and i will i can replant it on that section okay so yep looking good despite it being winter one viewer was asking how my ferrocactus cylindracious is doing so it is here in my backyard i just protect this whenever we had uh, freezing temperatures at night for the past three days the nighttime temperatures were below freezing we were like at 27 degrees fahrenheit so i did cover this with a frost protection blanket but if it's above freezing i just leave it here so so far so good and then here are my big opuntia ficus indica they used to be drooping but after the rain or the drizzle that we had they immediately plumped back up this is the back section against the wall i have a few cacti growing in here as well Let's see how they are i haven't been here for i'd say two weeks <laughs> so we're seeing this together for the first time in two weeks this is a trichocereus it's the first time it is overwintering outside i see that it is turning a little bit orange that's from cold stress but then the pops down there looks fine so i think this will survive and uh, look at this opuntia it is drooping <laughs> it needs water but that's normal that's what they do when they lack water all right so that is it for this video and if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants i was going over all these cacti of mine i don't see any buds yet <laughs> but it's still too early anyway i'm just wishful thinking and i'm just so excited for spring anyway guys i'll talk to you again next time bye everyone and cheers